He'll be in Denver in two days, but Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders is already in your living room. That's right. Denver 7 political reporter Marshall Zellinger is here with a fact check of two brand new Sanders political ads. Tis the season, Marshall. And you're going to see a lot of these right. over the next week. One is essentially a one-minute biography. The other is a 30-second spot on Social Security. And as we will with all political ads, we're checking the facts that come straight to your living room. The son of a Polish immigrant who grew up in a Brooklyn tenement. Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders has debuted two political ads ahead of his weekend visit to Colorado. For living wages, equal pay, and tuition-free public colleges. This is all true. Sanders introduced a bill in July to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. He has supported legislation helping women fight pay discrimination. And he sponsored a bill to have the feds and states offer $70 billion to help create tuition-free colleges with taxes on Wall Street investments to offset some of the costs. In the middle of a time when senior poverty is increasing, Republicans and some Democrats came up with a brilliant idea for cutting cost of living adjustments for Social Security. We said it will be over our dead bodies if you cut Social Security. This is mostly true. Mostly because Denver 7 has yet to find where Sanders stood up and said, over our dead bodies. But what he's getting at is true. The orange line represents senior poverty. In 2011, it was 8.7%. In 2014, it's 10%, meaning one out of every 10 people, 65 or older, is living below the poverty line. Today, the poverty level is just shy of $12,000 for one person, 16000 for a couple. He even has this bill that he introduced 11 months ago to expand Social Security, but it has not even been heard by a committee. There's also this section of the biography ad that references millions of small contributions with dozens of photos. Well, the Sanders campaign claims more than three million individual donors, and that's the majority of his donations, although Hillary Clinton leads him overall 108 million to 73 million. Anne?